Hey friends, I'm Sunish from Team Must. This is the part one of the playlist Learning Python. In this tutorial, I'll explain you how to download and install Python on your system. Uh, I'll be using Windows, but the steps are almost same for any operating system, either it be Mac or Windows or any, any other operating system. After we are done with the installation of Python, uh, we would be downloading a compiler, a code editor basically. My preferred code editor would be PyCharm. Again, this one is the most preferred code edit editor amongst all the developers, Python developers. So let's get started with downloading and installing Python on your system. So to download Python, you just open up this URL python.org org and click on downloads uh, it's showing me the latest version which is 3.7.2 as if now uh, it could be different when you see this uh, afterwards but as if now this is the latest version we have for windows so i'll download it for my windows as i have already downloaded it i'll just open up my downloads folder here we go this is let's just open it click on run so uh, make sure to check this checkbox add python 3.7 to path uh, for the ones who are working on windows it's mandatory uh, click on install now so the installation is done it's complete it took me almost three minutes to for this um, it may vary on your system I mean depending on your system configuration so um, now let's move on with installing the code editor let me just close this first and to download the code editor you just go to this URL pains.com slash pycha now you here you'll see this download now option like this so it's open now uh, as you can see there are two versions available the professional version and the community version professional version has some additional features uh, again but it's paid one and the community version it's absolutely free and uh, throughout this course we would be using this community version so you can download this uh, as I have already downloaded this I just skip this and, uh, and just move to my downloads folder as you can see here this is my community version so i'll just install this click run so as you can see the installation wizard it's uh, just click next select the destination folder next next that's basically basically the same installation wizard and let's leave everything to default and install so again this would take some time uh, it should not take more than a minute let's see so as you can see the installation is complete and uh, before just clicking on finish I'll just check this checkbox so that it directly launches away uh, finish and let's, let's just wait for yeah so leave it to default do not import any settings okay and yeah here we go as if now you can skip this and pycharm community so you are good to go and you can now create your first project create new project so it's basically the path where your project would be stored uh, before that let me just check expand this and check uh, okay <clears throat> uh, there is no change i guess required but for mac users uh, make sure that the base interpreter is 3.7 okay so as if now no changes here i'll just change the name of my first project let's keep it hello world 
Okay. Hello, that's enough. Okay, click create. So it's creating virtual environment. As we have opened it for the first time, it's taking time. Uh, after that, whenever you open it, it won't take any time. It's gonna start right away. <clears throat> you can close this one afterwards. So you can close now. Okay. So this is your code editor. So this was it for this video. And uh, from next videos, we will directly jump on to the coding part. So let, uh, let's meet in the next video soon. Until uh, then, be must and keep rocking. Bye bye.